Eva Marie Saint is an award-winning actress with a successful acting career that has spanned for over 75 years. She's managed to earn both an Emmy Award and an Oscar Award due to her contributions towards television and film. In fact, she is one of the few actresses that have earned two stars for Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Eva's life has been full of tragedy and heartache, and upon the demise of her husband, Jeffrey Hayden, she managed to be the earliest surviving and oldest living winner of an Academy Award. She is among the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood cinema. Here are some secret facts about Eva Marie Saint. But before we're getting into the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. We'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Early Life The iconic star was born in Newark, New Jersey to Quaker parents John Merle Saint and Eva Marie on the 4th of July. She went to Bethlehem Central High School located in Del Mar, New York. During her high school years, Saint was nicknamed Bubbles since she made bubbles in her mouth. However, she managed to shed the nickname after she had graduated high school in 1942. Saint then proceeded to Bowling Green State University with a passion for teaching. The young and ambitious girl was in the middle of majoring in education when she was approached by a drama professor requesting her to try out for a play. Saint secured a role in the play, and she loved the experience she gained during the play to the extent of changing her major to drama, which her father was in support of. She later joined Delta Gamma Sorority, where she played a leading role in personal appearance. She was actively involved in the theater honorary fraternity, thus serving as a record keeper in 1944 for the Students' Council. In fact, there is a theater at the campus of the university that has been named after her. Saint later graduated in 1946 from the university. Career Path the earliest surviving star started in the show business as an intern at a television studio, NBC, at 19 years of age. This changed her life immensely since it gave her the opportunity to meet stars like Joan Crawford, who thrilled her summer. Her first job on TV was applauding the acts off-screen and on-screen at the rate of $15. As a struggling actress, she ventured into modeling but hated it since it did not create a different person in her. This made her avoid such gigs. In 1948, she undertook acting classes at the Actors Studio that made her appear on several TV shows from 1949 to 1953, such as The Prudential Family Playhouse and The Trip to Bountiful. However, her breakthrough came at a Hollywood scene in the classic 1954 film On the Waterfront. This was her first film, which she absolutely knocked it out of the park, hence being nominated and winning an Oscar award for the Best Supporting Actress. Saint appeared in That Certain Feeling alongside Bob Hope in 1956. She also starred in Rain Tree Country in 1957 with Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor. Later, she starred in A Hatful of Rain with Don Murray, which was released the same year. This made her receive a nomination for being the best foreign actress, thus winning an award for her performance from the British Academy of Film and Television. In 1959, Eva Saint was chosen among dozens of candidates by the director Alfred Hitchcock to play the role of femme fatale in North by Northwest suspense classic. During her midlife career, she focused on distinguishing herself in both offbeat and high-profile pictures. In 1960, she featured in Exodus, which is a historical drama on the founding of the State of Israel as a co-star with Paul Newman. She was also a co-star with Carl Malden and Warren Beatty in the all Fall Down drama of 1962. In 1965, she featured on The Sandpiper with Elizabeth Taylor and in the 36 Hours thriller for World War II with James Garner. Saint also joined all the star cast in the Grand Prix, an international racing drama, and The Russians Are Coming, a comedic satire. Her best performance reviews were made in 1970 in Loving, where she was a co-star. She was inspired to return to the stage and TV in the 1980s due to her second-rate film roles in the 70s. Saint made appearances in a number of TV films in the 1980s, such as Sybil Shepherd and Moonlighting. In 1977, Saint received an Emmy nomination for How the West Was Won miniseries. She also received an Emmy nomination in 1978 for Taxi. Eva Saint was able to receive her first Emmy Award for the People Like Us miniseries after receiving five nominations in 1990. Eva Marie appeared in several TV productions in the 90s. In 2000, she featured on 
dreamed of African film along with Kim Basinger. She co-starred with Sam Shepard and Jessica Hang in 2005 on Don't Come Knocking. She also appeared on Because When Dixie, a family film co-starring Cicely Tyson, Jeff Daniels, and Anna Sophia Robb the same year. In 2006, she featured on Super Returns as Superman's mother, Martha Kent, and due to her contributions in the Western cinema, a Golden Boot Award was given to her in 2007. Saint also made a rare appearance in 2009 at the 81st Academy Awards ceremony as the Best Supporting Actress Presenter. She lent her voice in 2012 to an animated series, Nickelodeon. She was also a sequel to Avatar, a hit TV show, and cast as an adult version of Willa in Winter's Tale film adaptation the same year. Saint was able to appear in the Academy Award for the 2018 ceremony to present a costume design award. She received a standing ovation during the ceremony, in which she has appeared after 64 years. Marriage The oldest living Academy winner was married to Jeffrey Hayden, a director and producer, on the 28th October 1951, and had two children, a son, Daryl Hayden, born in 1955, and a daughter, Lorette Hayden, born in 1958. Saint and Jeffrey were married for 65 years until the demise of her husband on December 24, 2016, at the age of 90. Saint's marriage to Jeffrey is a fairy tale romance, since in an industry full of late night hookups and high profile breakups, they still remained together and in love for the 65 years they were married. The Golden Age star was so devoted to her family to the extent of turning down many offers to play several in movies so that she could put her efforts towards her family in the 1950s. Lifetime Achievement The iconic actress has enjoyed returning to Bowling Green State University and interacting with the students. She offers advice to theater students at the university on sticking and continuing with their craft after their graduation. This is a significant aspect of her life since her first experience in acting was from this university. On April 7, 2018, Saint received her alma mater which is a lifetime achievement during a fundraising event at the university. Ambitions Despite Saint being an iconic actress who seems to have accomplished everything she might have dreamed of in Hollywood, she still has one ambition on her acting bucket list. It is to do a voiceover for a Pixar movie. To date, she has not managed to turn her ambition into a reality. So did you enjoy watching the video? If so, comment below on other videos you would like us to share and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification button.